Hey guys, it's Jessie V. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about pet rocks, which I know probably sounds so weird, but trust me, there's so many creepy things that have to do with this. And pet rocks were a very popular toy in the 1970s. So I'm gonna get into that in just a moment, but I just wanna give you a reminder that if you wanna win this month's backdrop, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram Instagram, give me a follow, and then DM me the whale emoji. And that's all you have to do to be entered for this month. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on our website, we've been doing weekly auctions for the creepy toys and dolls and things that I've been unboxing on my vlog channel, things that I've talked about on this channel in depth as well. And all the proceeds from the auctions are actually going to our Yana Foundation, which is amazing. So not only are you getting a really cool item, you're also helping helping us keep the Yana program alive. And so this week I am auctioning the Dear Diary toy. I did a video about this a couple weeks ago. It's basically a digital diary that comes with a camera and this actually works perfectly. We tested it out on the vlog channel if you wanna see. And I took a very creepy photo of myself that is inside this diary and whoever wins it in the auction will see that creepy photo. I'm not showing anybody else, just that person. So I'll put a link to the auction down below in the description. And yeah, just check the website every week because there's a new item every single time that I have spoken about before. Okay, so let's start with the history of the Pet Rocks. Pet Rock is a collectible toy made in 1975 by Gary Dahl. They were rocks packaged in custom cardboard boxes complete with ventilation holes and straw bedding imitating a pet carrier. Now the fad only lasted about six months, but he was able to sell over one million pet rocks, which made him a millionaire. He sold them for $4 each and it was crazy to people how this strange idea could be so successful. It was only temporary, but for that time, people loved it. Gary came up with this idea in a bar while listening to his friends complain about their pets. And this gave him the idea for a perfect pet, a rock. A rock would not need to be fed, walked, bathed or groomed, and it would not die, become sick or disobedient. He said they were the perfect pet and he joked about it with his friends. Little did his friends know that he took this idea very seriously. And soon after, he drafted up an instruction manual for a pet rock. This was a 32 page official training manual titled The Care and Training of Your Pet Rock. And it included instructions on how to properly care and raise your rock. It also told people about several commands that could be taught to your new pet, like sit and stay, which were obviously very easy to accomplish with a rock. But the manual says that roll over took a little bit more effort and that trick definitely needed a little help from the trainer. The book says that stand and shake hands were nearly impossible to teach, obviously. However, attack was a fairly simple one with some help from the owner's force. So I wanna read you the first page of this booklet because it's honestly baffling to me. Here's what it says. Your new rock is a very sensitive pet and may be slightly traumatized from all the handling and shipping required in bringing the two of you together. While you may look in on your new pet from time to time, it is essential that you leave your rock in its box for a few days. It is advised that you set the box in an area of your home that is to become your pet rock's special place. Some pet rock owners have found that the ticking of an alarm clock placed near the box has a soothing effect especially at night. It takes most pet rocks exactly three days to acclimate themselves to their new surroundings. After 72 hours have passed, you may remove the rock from its box and begin enjoying your new pet. This was an actual manual that came with the pet rock that you bought. And I understand how kids could find this super like magical and believable, but after this fad ended, people actually got very upset with Gary. Those who bought this toy began to realize that yes, it was most a joke and they went on to say that Gary scammed them. But I mean, how did they not know that to start with? 
Like, it's a rock? Did they actually think it was gonna be a living, breathing pet? So Gary actually vanished off the face of the earth for eight years to avoid this backlash. Okay, let's get into the creepier stuff. I was able to find an SCP called Pet Rock, and the code for this creature is SCP-617. The SCP Foundation is a fictional organization that investigates, captures, and contains paranormal phenomena. So they basically analyze these creatures that they catch and they write reports about them. Now, are they actually a fictional foundation? or could they be real? So this pet rock SCP has an appearance of a large granite rock, except that it possesses a zipper in its side that is fully operational. When unzipped, it is shown to possess a mouth with teeth that look identical to human teeth. Now they have tried to take x-rays and MRIs of these rocks, but their systems have been unable to penetrate its stone exterior. So they don't really know what it looks like on the inside. You'd think it would just be a rock, but since it has a mouth, you never know. What they do know is that its mouth is fully functional and can vocalize sounds along with consume food. It is also capable of limited movement. For example, it's able to roll around with its own power. But its most disturbing aspect is the way it can influence human behavior. It can speak, but it also generates this low frequency sound that allows it to take over any human who hears it. And that is why this creature is kept in a soundproof container at all times with the zipper on its mouth closed. The human that gets affected by this SCP will immediately become emotionally attached to it, treating it like a pet and actively caring for it to the best of their ability. This human will give it a home, protect it from danger, and make sure that it's well fed. And you might be wondering, what the heck do these rocks eat? This SCP has an active digestive system and it sustains itself on a diet mainly consisting of meat fresh meat. And since it's obviously unable to obtain food on its own, it persuades its owner to gather food for it. And this human will resort to any means necessary to gather this food. Recorded instances have shown that owners are willing to slaughter livestock and even pets to feed this rock, sometimes even human beings. And in times of desperation, it is also not uncommon for the owner to feed parts of themselves to it, which is awful and disturbing. And on some occasions, this SCP will actually begin to devour its owner while they are asleep. And what's so creepy is that it says the owner will either not notice the attack or simply show no alarm when it is discovered, continuing to care for it like nothing happened. The good thing is when this owner is separated from this low frequency sound that it produces, they will eventually begin to recover from its effects. So it can wear off, which is good, but if they're exposed to it again, it'll happen all over again. So yeah, this creature is so disturbing and I will never look at pet rocks the same. And the last thing I found is this legend online that was actually written by a kid, so take it for what you will. But they said they found a way to actually make your pet rock come alive. They said you have to make sure you have eyes on it, whether it's googly eyes or painted on, and only put a mouth on it if you're okay with it talking to you. Once you are done decorating it, tap it three times on the top of its head and then put it in the darkest place in your house. And then it says after three hours, it's ready to come out and play with you. This kid also says, you know it's alive because when you press your hand on top of it, you will feel a small vibration. So that's super creepy, but you know what I did? I went online, I got Ty and myself some pet rocks. We're gonna decorate them and we're gonna try to see if we can make them come alive. So that's gonna be in an upcoming vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want me to continue doing videos on like nostalgic toys or things from our past, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like to put in a bid for the Dear Diary toy, I have linked it down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, I am currently doing weekly auctions on the Jessie V website. And this is the item for this week. You've seen me talk about it in a video. You've seen me unbox it and test it out on my vlog channel. And what's so amazing is that all proceeds go towards our Yana program. We really need funding to support our schools who have implemented this program. And what better way than to donate and also get this really cool item that I've been talking about in videos. And you'll be able to see a countdown on our website and the winning bidder will be notified. So good luck and thank you once again for supporting everything I do and for supporting our Yana program.